Hi, I'm Ole England and today I'm checking out the Line 6 Helix pedal board. The Helix pedal is one of the most requested pieces of gear you guys want me to demo. It's been out for about a year and it's the first time for me trying it out, so I'm excited. First I'd like to say thank you to the guys from Created for borrowing me this Helix. Go check out their band, I'll put a link in the description. At first glance it's a big ass pedal, but it feels very rigid with its metal casing. Seems like it could stand a beating. You have an expression pedal here, you have a bunch of assignable foot switches and, and the no plastic parts from what I can see. Also something that caught my eye when I first picked it up is the amount of connections at the back. There are just so many inputs and output options, I mean, which is always nice making the pedal suit any application. If you're recording direct, going into front of house, into an amplifier or if you're reamping, you have tons of options. Expression pedal inputs, relay switching outputs, etc. It also has an on and off button. According to Line 6, everything around the modeling of amps and effects are newly designed and improved. So all amp sims, etc. are completely remade. So it's not an evolution of the pod technology. It's a completely new product or series. 45 amps and 70 effects, dual DSP processing. So the Helix should be even better feeling than any of the other pod products. The user interface looks nice and easy. You get a single path going and you just add amp sims and effects to your liking in different blocks. And it's pretty easy to set up a new preset on the actual pedal, but you can also use the Helix editor on your computer to control everything. Also, the individual LED screens is a very nice touch, I must say. You can label everything yourself if you want. I'm not going to dwell too much into all the features, my main focus and curiosity lies in how it sounds for metal, so let's just try it out. So here we have the Helix up and running, and I've already made a couple of presets for it. The way I usually go when I'm trying out a new piece of gear like the Helix here is that I start a preset from scratch and just make a simple metal rhythm patch, you know, adding an amp block a cabinet block and uh, if needed an overdrive block and when I have the basics done I don't really sit around and tweak the patch to perfection I just start a new preset all over and work from scratch again using a different amp model and different cab impulse and then I do this for a couple of presets and by doing it this way I learn pretty quickly what amp model and cab impulse that I think sounds the best and then I do this for a couple of presets and by doing it this way I learn pretty quickly what amp model and cab impulse I think sounds the best. So the first preset here is the first sound I created and uh, then I just kept making a new rhythm preset and ended up with six different ones. So let's try it out. This is the first one. <laughs> Second one. And as you can hear, I think it sounds better and better the higher the preset, mainly because I learned the product while creating all these. By the way, all of these presets will be available to download in the description of the video. And uh, you can download them and try them out and see which one you like the most. 
But the last one here is the one I used for the intro music of this video. I also put in parametric EQ in the signal chain to make it fit the music a bit better. For the purpose of this video, I'm only using the built-in cab impulse responses, but you can upload your own into the Helix if you want. For me, 90% of the sound being good enough or not depends on the cabinet impulse response you use. And the ones inside the Helix make a great starting point. What I found out while making these presets is that the dual cab option often results in a better tone in general. Using two different impulses, they mask away the smaller elements in the impulses that I don't like. But the dual cab option definitely sounds better than having just a single cab impulse. And I also made a clean and a lead patch. So my conclusion to my question, can the Helix do metal? I definitely think the Line 6 Helix is a great product suiting for metal. It just has way more options than the previous hot HD models and it seems that they've actually put the time and effort into the amp and cab models. You don't get the facing issues when combining cabinets and microphones and something that I got on the pod HD when doing dual cab setups. With all the inputs and outputs at the back, you have a lot of options for home recording or any live setup. And because of the four individual effects loops, you can still use your favorite pedals or just use the effects of the unit if you're using a real amp. It's nice and convenient to have everything set up in one box. Even if it's big, it will still save you a lot of space when you don't have to bring all the separate pedals and amps with you if you're rehearsing or playing live. It's a bit heavy, but it's understandable seeing how well built the unit is. It definitely feels that Line 6 has made an effort and really thought things through with the Helix. Be sure to check out my factory preset run through video. And I'm also making a video where I compare the Line 6 Helix versus the Fractal Audio AX8 pedal. So be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Hey guys, thank you for watching my video. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. And if you want to interact with me, be sure to follow me on Facebook and Instagram. See ya!